Okay, this is why I hate lenticulars. I mean, come on. This guy looks like he belongs in Monster Zinc with those four eyes right there. It's just insane. Probably the worst idea Mattel has ever come up with. Wait, wait, wait. I take that back. Mattel has probably done something worse, but without a doubt, the lenticular line was terrible. I know there are some collectors that actually like them, and I respect your opinion if you do like the lenticular models, but for me personally and the majority of cars collectors, the lenticular line was disliked to access. Most collectors like myself only bought the cars that were only made with lenticular eyes. I'm starting to buy a few more nowadays because the art looks nice, but just a terrible, awful line in my opinion. I could go on for days about this line and how terrible they look to me, but we have something to celebrate in this video. Happy birthday, amazing figures and toys. Thank you very much for the birthday request, and as always, hopefully you're having a great day for your birthday. Let me know if you got any cars or planes as presents in the comment section below. Maybe you got some money or maybe some electronic devices. And if you'd like to make a birthday request of your own, please watch the video in the description below on how to do so, so you can do it properly. And now, let's go with a review here of Van with Stickers. Now, Van with Stickers was released as a lenticular chase in 2010. And if you guys don't know what chases are, they are basically harder to find cars than your basic Lightning McQueen or Mater or new releases such as Bob Pulley or Sedania Oskinian. Now, in 2015, they stopped making chases. They still make super chases, but not chases anymore. I have no clue why. It's kind of surprising, actually. It kind of added a little bit more excitement to the hunt because you're more likely to find a chase than a super chase, and it's always exciting to find a chase piece or something that's signified as rare. Time for a little hypothetical experiment. Okay guys, go to ebay.com and search Disney Cars Van With Stickers. Now you'll probably see a bunch of listings that just simply say Mattel Disney Cars Van With Stickers 2010 Chase. But if you look at the pictures for the listings, I bet they will not show you the back where the bumper sticker is supposed to be. They'll show you the front, they'll show you the car there, they'll show you the back, but they will not show you his bumper. And I'll explain why that is in a moment here, but I wanna tell you guys what else you might see. You might see a listing that says, Mattel, Disney Cars, Van with Stickers, Air. No sticker on the back. And then they'll show you a picture of the back looking exactly like this without the bumper sticker in the back. And then just maybe you might see one or two listings of Van with stickers saying legit has the sticker and they'll show you a picture of the back with the sticker. Now those will go for probably around $50 whereas all the other ones will probably range from 10 to 15. Now this is because back in 2010, when these were being made, most of them, I'd say 90%, but I'm just estimating, were made without the bumper sticker in the back. It said, Van with stickers, Chase was supposed to have the sticker, but it did not. I have absolutely no clue why this happened. I just was a victim of it. I ordered like two or three van with stickers before I actually got a legit one with the sticker. As you can see, here's a loose one without the sticker. Exactly the same as the one with the sticker. Same expression, only differences is that that one has the sticker. Now like I said, I have absolutely no clue why this happened. It's obviously some sort of factory error. They forgot to put the sticker on 90% of them, so that leaves 10% of this chase piece that already is rare. 
having the sticker. So, I'd probably say this is one of the rarest chases, if not the rarest chase that Mattel has ever made. I know Cartney Breakin and some of the Piston Cup racers, such as the King and Chick Hicks with Piston Cups, are also very rare nowadays, but this one, if you find one with the sticker, that is a true treasure right there because not many were made at all. This one right here I actually opened up for some odd reason. I kept it in the pack just to show you guys for this video. Now let's talk about Van with stickers now that we're done with all of the technical stuff. Here we do have the air, I guess you can call it, even though, in my opinion, an air is not really mass produced like this guy was. An air is more like, oh, I found a car with no eyes. It's just painted over like that Sally with cone I showed you guys in my Sally variations video. But I don't know, it technically would be an air, but I really don't classify it as one. You guys can do what you like, just not really what I would say it technically should be. Now, as you can see, Four Eyes Monsters Inc. car right here. I'm just kidding, but yeah, it moves from having that expression looking up to the top left there, and then that looking over to his right. He does have this two-piece grill, which is supposed to represent a mustache. Unfortunately, he does have a mouth plate. Do I really need to tell you guys? Yeah, I probably should. Mouth plates are essentially the plastic pieces. There's the crack that separates the main metal body from the plastic mouthpiece. Ah, oh, I hate mouth plates. But fortunately, Mattel doesn't make any more new cars with these. However, some of the re-releases that had them in the past, such as Burnt Lightning McQueen, actually soaked Lightning McQueen, that one still has a mouth plate. However, Coriander Wide Track, who was released in 2010 with a mouth plate, is actually going to be upgraded to a unibody. That's what collectors call them. Cars that are one full piece, like this guy right here. As you can see, one full piece no mouth plate or a crack right there here's the original van now the original van was only released in 2008 and in that three pack back there i will be reviewing that in the future it's a very very nice three pack and i'll talk a little bit more about that when we talk exactly where van with stickers appeared in the movie as you can see they're basically the same both have mouth plates although they're different shaped I honestly don't understand Mattel sometimes. As you can see, this one's a lot lower. The crack only covers the mouth. This one covers the lights and the grill. I don't understand, but whatever. It makes this one look a lot uglier than the original van. And there's another example of a car that has remained with a mouth plate. This is a 2016 release right here, and both Mini and Van do have mouth plates. Like I said though, when I review that set, we'll talk more about the mouth plates. Now, I'm mostly every different variation of van. The dirt detailing on the luggage cases were different. Another thing that I never quite understood, as you can see, this one's a lot more, I guess you could say, neat. It's kind of lined in like one direction there, and this one's all, like all over the place there. I've always liked van though. Very, very nice car, I like his rims. I'm one of those cars that's really simple, and I'm very happy that he actually appeared in Cars 2. I love carryover supporting characters. It's some of my favorite characters, really, like Brent Mustangberger. On the back, he does have a license plate that reads 47-M4U, and the text above it reads Dipstick. Now, I believe this number is used on a bunch of different cars, unfortunately. Come on, Mattel. Seriously. Why? Why do you do that? As I've talked in my previous videos, if you had the same license plate number as another car, you'd be in heaps of trouble. And obviously, the one difference that makes this car so special is the nice Butte bumper sticker. Now, of course, it's very ironically placed, and I'll let you guys figure that out in your own mind because it's a little inappropriate, but... It does say nice butte, not butt or boot, it's butte, 
kind of like a car term not entirely sure about that either but that is how you would pronounce it and then below that it says radiator springs and has kind of the radiator cap mountain face on there so a very very nice addition i know a lot of people were making customs of this because they weren't able to find it in a store themselves or buy it online it was out of their price range i tried that once and it didn't work out too well as you can see on my original van right here you can kind of see how smooth the bumper goes and then rough yeah that's where the sticker was until i pried it off yeah that's why i buy customs from other people because I fail completely when I try to do my own customs. Here's the base for anyone who's interested. Pretty clean. Not bad. And here is the base for your regular 2008 van. And for the laughs and giggles, here is the air van with sticker license, or not license plate, base. They are basically the same because they really should have been like one combined release. Now, just so you guys know, for your own knowledge, regular van actually just said van. It just said van on the name tag here. It was released with lenticular eyes, and that version of van has an open mouth. Like, his mouth is kind of, like, open and screaming, like, Van San. That is completely different from this. Just so you guys know, this version of van with stickers here, or van, I should just say, is he one that had this expression it, it gets a little confusing i understand when we're dealing with so many variations here we have the air we have the real one we have the regular lenticular van so i just wanted to clarify that just put that one out of your mind i don't even have that one to show it might appear on the screen may not because it's not too relevant to this video so that's really all for the die cast of mr van with uno sticker in the back i don't know why they said stickers because it really is only one if i counted correctly now van with sticker appeared when van and mini here's mini came into radiator springs and they were trying to get to the interstate and mini won van to ask for directions but his pride did not allow that to happen he wanted to figure it out on his own with his gps that apparently does not work because in the end of the movie van ended up looking like this lost in the desert so probably should have asked for directions but we all know that he ended up being safe and sound in cars too because he did appear now back to the story man with stickers appeared when all the townies were promoting their businesses to him. They were driving up on the road next to Van and Filmer was like, try some of my homemade organic fuel, man. And Sarge was like, surplus. And Ramon was like, paint job. And Flo was like, get some gas. And Lizzie came up behind Van here and slapped the sticker on his bumper right there. And then that's really where the irony comes from. And I'll let you guys figure out that yourself. So pretty cool scene. He ended up with that sticker then for the rest of the journey, I would assume. It's not on Lost in a Desert Van, but probably fell off or something. And that's really how it appeared. It was one of those things that appeared for like two seconds, minor variations. So a little bit of the example of Mattel trying to make more money, making a chase. I, I swear, the chases are never the most interesting cars are pretty boring sometimes but but off topic that's off topic that is all for this video and that's really where the three pack comes in by the way this three pack in the background here is of the scene where van and mini entered radiator springs and for example ramon was promoting his business hopefully that made sense i will be showing screenshots within the video here so you guys can visualize if you did not see the movie or you have forgotten. And that's all for this birthday request. Happy birthday again to Amazing Figures and Toys. You make some great videos and I appreciate the support you give me on my videos. Highly recommend checking out his channel. So I'll see you guys next time for another birthday request or suggestion video, whatever it happens to be. I believe it is a suggestion video. And I'll see you guys then. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.